right now and um, as you can see it's really wet and they're calling for more rain later today so we might only be able to make one eighth mile pass at Medford today. Um, parking lot, we still got some of our friends here, Ryan's Corvette, AJ over here, I see Alan's car still in the lot. Yeah, there were some people out late last night in this parking lot. I <laughs> came out here at uh, one o'clock in the morning and there was still people out here people like partying. To party. <laughs> So, yeah, I think we're just loading up. We're going to warm up the car, head to the track, and then see what the official call is. Let's go. <clears throat> yeah, we've been eating like absolute crap on this trip. Yeah. Don't do a drag and drive if you're trying to maintain a diet. Because <laughs> you just eat what you can get. <laughs> Luckily, no work to be done on the car. Thank goodness. So I kind of helped out a little this morning. They were asking everyone on street tires to come do laps on the track and dry it off. So I feel my street tires were actually helpful for once. <laughs> but how cool is this? This is Medford. There's um, the uh, Redwood Rally tent. They got a freaking bonfire cooking here in the staging lanes. It's, it's cool. So my good friend Jeff is the one who's been pulling the portable car hoist to every single stop on the rally. He is the total MVP of the whole event and he's helped out so many racers and I just want to get his story told. Here he is. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, so Jeff, you want to explain to them like why you're doing this, what you're doing and... Yeah, so I'm here with the portable car hoist. The, uh, the purpose of me being here is just to help support the racers and and make sure everyone finishes. Um, I'm here for the love of racing only. I'm not getting paid. I'm here on my time to help everyone finish this event. So I brought uh, a, a flux core welder for just welding you know, gears and all kinds of stuff and rear ends and stuff like that. And then I've got a TIG welder so I can weld anything aluminum or anything you know tiny that needs to be put back together. And I've used all my tools, so <laughs> it made worth bringing them. But yeah, so I can set it up. And pretty much, I just drop it on the ground, and, and then I uh, set it up. Maybe later today we'll have it set up if someone needs it. But um, I've helped a lot of people. I think there's been six or eight people on here already. First day we did a transmission, <laughs> changed out a transmission. The second day I didn't have to do anything. The second day, but the third day yesterday. We fixed a fuel pump issue that guy broke a fuel pump so and some just general service transmission stuff but you know it's it's definitely a big deal it's, it's a lot of fun but it's also very tiring i didn't get here till 4 a.m this morning so yeah he's yeah. been pulling in so late and he's got his little rig here that he's staying in yeah i brought the motor home because my tranny and my truck went out and so this was a last minute upgrade i guess you yeah. could call it but um yeah, this, this is an awesome event. I really wanted to make sure that it went off well and, and I want to do it myself. So I want to make sure that we have enough people here and interested doing this to, to have it come back. And that way then I can race it with my kid and my wife, hopefully. So I think it'd be really fun to bring them. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, yeah, I just can't wait to see how the rest of the event goes. It's been great so far. And yeah, Jeff is just the total MVP of the event. Like seriously. So go check him out on social. What are some of your social pages? So my social is uh, Jeff Woods Racing on Instagram and then just my regular name on Facebook. And then also Portable Car Hoist on Instagram and yep. Facebook. 
So Bobby, the guy who, uh, who invented this thing, is he works hard, but we're not very good at business. So, you know, this thing is, it doesn't really sell itself. A lot of people don't know it's out there, but they are for sale and for rent. It, it's, uh, they're few and far between. You know, we I think we, he's built 20 of them, give or take. So they're out there, but you know, they're mostly in the Midwest and uh, I think there's one on the East Coast now. So yeah, just uh, look them up and see, see what you can find. Look up Portable Car Hoist on Instagram and, and that's probably the best way because he links everything to everyone else who has them, so. Awesome, yeah. it's seriously the best idea and it saves so many people like time and energy. Like also oh, just yeah. who wants to lay on their back to swap yeah. a trans. Yeah, no, it's, it's horrible if you've ever done it. I don't recommend it. <laughs> I don't own a lift, so this is the most usage of a lift I've ever had. <laughs> it's definitely worth owning if you can get one. Um, they're not that cheap, but they're, you know, for what it's for, this is really important to keep these vents going. So yeah, I will do my best to support this one because Bobby is uh, over at Race Week 2.0. Yep. And I'm here with this one, and uh, hopefully next year we have this again. And this event just keeps going on because these, these kind of events are like no other. This drag and drive stuff is really, really fun. It so is. I recommend everyone do it at least once in their life. It is. Definitely go follow Jeff on social and thank him because he's the best. All right, thanks, guys. <laughs> See ya. Have a good one. guys an idea this is what some people are riding in for all of these trips it's, uh, got the essential how, mountain dew how is the comfortability surprisingly it's not bad really i mean from a passenger standpoint it's not bad the firewall is really far back so there's not a ton of leg room but yeah other than that the seats are really comfortable the car rides good does it get hot no surprisingly not yeah. it's it's really not bad damn cool i can't complain interesting for an old bracket car, it's do you put a uh, do you put earplugs in or? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And and the mufflers are quiet. It's fine around town with the mufflers. Yeah. You can talk, but once you get on the freeway and with the windows down, it's it starts a drone that's pretty good. What RPM is he turning? Like at seventy or what are you guys um, cruising so we can at? We cruise at like sixty five and it's right about three thousand. It's got oh, a three ninety gear with wow. thirty three inch tires, so it's not it's not terrible. And we're getting about six and a half, almost seven miles to the gallon. Okay. E85 carburetor, so it's yeah. not bad oh. for a carburetor. Yeah. Well, are you guys having trouble finding E85, though? No, luckily at the track, we brought a bunch of fuel jugs, so we could fill up everything at the track, and, uh, and we've been pretty safe on fuel. Yeah. We've, got, we've been making it to every stop with 10 gallons extra. So. And what is that tank size? Uh, it's almost 30 gallons. That's a 30-gallon tank? Almost. Yeah, it goes down below the frame rail. Oh, oh that's good. Yeah. Dang, he's got one heck of a fuel system here. Yeah, so those are actually, he figured out, did some math, and they're factory Hellcat fuel pumps. Oh. And that's enough. And so there's actually, the way he rigged it is there's two fuel pumps in there. One's inactive so that if we if one died, just switch the hoses over. And oh, that's cool. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Dragon drive, got to have spares. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Hey Dean. Hey, how are you doing? Good. So how's it going today? What's the situation? Um, good so far. So I already went at 686 today. Nice. So, but second place went 679. So oh, okay. he's packed up. He's ready to head out. So yeah. I'm going to go make another one with a couple more adjustments. Pull a little sneaker yes. pass, huh? Yeah. A little, a little sneaker pass. Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> so, 
Yeah, and then hopefully make this one and get back on the road. Nice. So he's going to be surprised when he gets to Redding. And sees like, the oh, results oh. later. <laughs> now I'm sure you'll be able to put it down. This is a great track. It so. is. Yeah, this is a cool facility. Just kind of out here in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. But yeah, it's cool. I like it. Nice. Car's looking good and sounding good. Thank so. you. did that pass go all over um like it got down got yeah. down really nice well so. how was your um times though so i ran a uh 945 with a six at 81 miles an hour is that any better than your previous times um well sure of a lot better than yesterday um but not as good as redding and i think samoa might have been 
better. Mm. But the Samoa time slip like wasn't reading right, so it, it's good. Today was like a good clean pass. If I made another hit, I know I could go faster, but I think we should get on the road because it's a good drive today. Okay. So. All right, so here's all the stuff we have to pack up. We got this little toolbox here, canopy that we haven't used the whole time, spare tire we haven't used this whole time. Uh, some just personal belongings here, race suit stuff and spare gas tank. Uh, we're gonna pack all this stuff up and then we're gonna hit the road. Okay, we just pulled over to a fuel station and there's a few other hot rods around here. Hey, how's it going? Good, man. How you guys doing? How'd you run today? Good. Good? Pass. Yeah? yeah? Right on? Yeah. What year's your car? 49. 1949? Yeah. All right. Cool. Got your slicks on the top. Slicks on the top, yeah. You uh, has it been pretty reliable for you so far? Yeah, it's the second dragon drive with it. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's been uh, maintenance free so far. Cool. Probably. What motor do you have in it? 440. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. That's the motor we're building for for our car. We have a charger. We're well, building a 440 for it. Yeah. My buddy Paul's old motor. He's been watching the channel. Oh. Yeah, I might have to ask you for some pointers because <laughs> this thing's been pretty reliable. It's nothing special, it's just a low compression uh, motor armor truck engine. Uh, does it have 906 heads or the four? They're actually the uh, earlier Polish chamber heads with the big valves in them. Okay. Yeah, it's a little more compression. Is it like a max wedge head? The wedge style it's head? It's kind of, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. All the cool. old ones, the max wedge would have bigger valves and other stuff. Yeah. These ones have had the bigger valves. What kind of mile per gallon are you getting? I think about 15. 15? Yeah. That's not bad. That's like what we're getting in ours. Yeah, as long as I stay at 55. Yeah. You guys should do a straight action car. One of these days, we're going to do one. She wants to do one. Yeah. 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 Well, at least you got some company with you, too. Exactly. Yeah. And my daughter's long That's your ride. daughter? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Right on. You having fun? Yeah. Yeah. Is it comfortable in there? Uh, it wasn't slow, <laughs> <laughs> That's what these are for. Oh, you got those? Okay, that's yeah. good. All right, well, we'll see you over there. Yeah, you bet, man. Thanks. Bye. Medford, Oregon takes the cake so far with uh, $5.39. For 92. That's the cheapest so far? I think so. Yeah. We just found some racers on the road. We are leaving Oregon and headed to California. Still 
chugging along. That's commitment. Good job, Kyle. There it is. I've always wanted to see this. Wow, that's pretty. Starbucks to keep us awake and now we're looking for a fishing spot. We saw a sign. So Mount Shasta Resort. Oh it said it was near there. State fish hatchery on oh, that sign. That's cheating. Yeah, that's cheat. Okay, we kind of went off the trail. And found this really pretty spot. Man, the tempest looks so good out here. Wow. Oh, I want to do like a little photo shoot. But first, check this out. It's a little waterfall. what lake we just stumbled upon but it's really pretty it's way down here in the bottom of this canyon and there's some people fishing down there which is good news so we're gonna go join them if we don't drive off the cliff This is really pretty and just a completely random thing we happened upon. We literally just stopped at Starbucks to use the um, restroom and to get up coffee and the next thing you know it's like, here we are. So I just spoke with a local and he says that there's lots of rainbow trout in here. Um, he says it's September so it's a little slow. I just literally saw one jump out right now. <laughs> um, and he says uh, you should have some pretty good luck at least getting one. So fingers crossed. All right, it's starting to rain, but that's not slowing us down. Danny's um, switching up his spot. We're gonna see what we can do on this side of the lake. Good cast. Damn. It's really starting to come down now. Fishing is tough. Well, it's tough when you're on a time restraint like we are because we got to get back to the rally and do the checkpoint. But if we had more time, we'd be out here like until we caught. <laughs> we might be out here until we catch. <laughs> I ain't giving up yet. Ah! Holy hell, it's pouring. The upside to this is that Big Wave is getting a much needed bath. This car has been so dirty and it hasn't rained enough to really clean it, but it's looking good. Completed the checkpoint, 
so happy to see that Ryan's Corvette made it. He's been having some uh, overheating issues, but it's here. So are the other cars. There's Alan's car down there. Heck yeah. Look who made it! day four of Redwood Rally. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As you can see, the parking lot is filled with all our friends and everyone who made it back to Redding for the final day of the event. We're so excited to really send it in the Tempest tomorrow. And yeah, just be sure to like, subscribe, and stick around for more videos. And yeah, we'll see you next time.